Guys, welcome back to another episode of Medieval Dynasty. I just noticed that there's little flies around here as well. You can kind of see them, little bugs. Sometimes I come across like little uh, spiders or stuff on the ground under the wooden areas or cockroaches or something. I don't know what they are. I think there's some over here. Um, we still have this house to finish, that's right. Uh, yeah, I don't... Sometimes... I, don't, I think it's just like ambient stuff. But... Sometimes you find the bugs and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. There's like butterflies and other things. But um, yeah, it's just really nice to have that extra effect because it makes the game more realistic. Yeah, you can kind of see some flies and stuff around here. And I think it's uh, based on seasonal stuff as well too, right? So it might change per season. Yeah, I can't find those little bugs. I thought they were in here somewhere. Maybe they're just random, like... Uh, procedurally randomized or something like that. I thought it was somewhere around these two trees, but it's quite possible it was not there today, so. All right, so let's get back to work. Uh, we need to go ahead and fix that. I don't know if our hammer is gonna be able to actually do all that, so we're going to need to get some supplies from the shed. Uh, I'm not going to dip into those logs. I'm going to grab some from here. I don't know if this is actually going down. We'll have to keep our eye on it. It's at 25 now, so I'll have to keep an eye and make sure that we have enough supply of logs to actually fulfill that uh, thing that we need for the um, making firewood and stuff like that. I increased it a while ago, but I'm not sure if it's going to drain our wood supply. We did have quite a bit of wood, but then I've been dipping into it as well, so um, just trying to make sure that it's set up a reasonable amount. Okay, so she's on the um, anvil at the moment. I'll just slip in there after she's done. So I think we need like four of these to make a new hammer. We'll just wait. <laughs> Don't want to interfere. I could just slip in there, but I don't know how that affects the uh, workspace or anything like that. All those interesting tools. Tool heads and stuff like that for pickaxes. Okay, so we want copper, and then we'll just make up a... Oh! We just need a stick. Um, one stick come... No! Okay, I'm definitely taking that over. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's right, move. Alright, so we'll just make this up.
All right, so I'm currently working on getting some more wood. Uh, we need wood for doing the roofs, and there was something else that I needed. I sorted out some of the um, logistical parts of the, uh, the village. There was apparently not enough planks being made, and I'm not sure if we're losing logs, but I, it looks like it's set up in a way that it will eventually... Oof. That always scares me when it gets stuck in the other trees. Because that might happen. Oh. And yeah, you can take fall damage from trees. It's actually a newish feature that they added uh, not too long ago. Uh, probably in the last couple updates. But, um... Trees fall on you, you can take damage from even get knocked over as well. Surprise this axe has survived that whole tree. It looked like it was about to break. Probably break the next one though. Okay, so we have this one. Yeah, that's what I figured. And the small ones always fall so fast. So we got that, but not the stick, the log would be better. And we'll chop this one down. I'm just trying to, like, clear cut this whole area out. Uh, I did, some trees did grow back not too long ago, and uh, I chopped those down again. Uh, I figured that we'll probably use this area for a logging industry. Uh, well, logging area, I guess. It's not really an industry, is it? But we have all the way up to this path here that we can basically mine. And there's some trees on the other side, but that goes into the Wissent um, territory. But we have all this area up here that we can basically chop up to. And it should be enough. And if we need to, we can always go into those woods. I don't think there's anything too dangerous over there, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I haven't been over there, I don't think, either. So, um, Some badgers... Rabbits. Yeah, we haven't explored this whole area yet, so I'm not entirely sure how dangerous it is, but um, we're going to eventually run out of trees over on this side, so we'll need to start considering chopping somewhere else, even if it's up there. There is a forest that is relatively safe up there that we can chop down, but problem for another day. Um, we always have the option to build another woodshed, I guess, and hire a few extra people. Alright, so we got that. Probably chop down one more tree. I don't know if these...
right, so I have to tend to some water, and then we need to go sell a bunch of stuff as well. So uh, we got some buckets, some shoes, some axes that we have excess of, and feathers, and a few other things that I remember. I think some um, shovels or something like that. But uh, I wanted to make sure that we got all the buckets moved over. So I'll move that over there, that there. Um, I think we're a little bit hungry, so I'll grab some of this. I'll grab ten. Try not to eat too much of their food. Okay, we can put two back. That should be good. Alright, and I offloaded my axes and stuff just so it was a little bit easier to carry some of this stuff over. Um, let's see here. We got it all in the shed here. It'll take a couple trips. Uh, might even have to go to another settlement. I'm going to start with the buckets and shoes. And... Maybe the shovels? The axes will be a little bit too heavy to carry, so we'll have to do that in a different trip but uh i think we still have some thing some people over there that we can sell to we basically drained that town from their their uh inventory so or their money so we'll have to go this way and if we can't do that then we'll have to take a trip over to another settlement i think there's one over there not too far up the road but um it'd be kind of a pain to travel all that way <laughs> But I know there's a few people here that we can sell to, so we'll start start with that, and then we'll work our way to, um... Okay, so the chicken lady is in here. How is life treating you? Whatever you need, I've got it. So, I'm gonna sell the 16 buckets. And that other one, and then we'll sell the shoes. She has 200 gold left over. So I'll sell the ease. Uh, I think that was pretty much it. Goodbye. All right, so we'll have to go back. Uh, there's the um, carpenter guy. I think he's somewhere around here. I don't know. <laughs> he didn't show up on the radar right away, so we'll probably end up draining these people from their money as well. Because we have the axes and feathers, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to sell all of that. But we'll try. I'll try to sell all of it, and if there's any excess that we need to sell, then we'll just pop up to the other uh, camp. I just need to
All right, so we got a lot of stuff done today. Uh, we got some trees chopped down. I'm going to be start working on um, upgrading either the... You know what? I think what we'll do is we'll upgrade the woodshed. Uh, we don't really need to upgrade that building at the moment per se, but the wood or the not the woodshed, the uh, storage shed. So I think we'll start working towards that. I heard on Wiki that if you had enough logs in your inventory, I'm not sure if it's just all the building resources, but um, I'll have to look up the exact amounts. But uh, we'll work towards getting all the supplies that we need to build one of these resource sheds, and then we can start. Um, replacing all the walls and roofs and stuff like that. Um, again, I'm not sure if there is... Like, you can replace over the existing one. Uh, if we go into the resource shed here and select resource shed 2, you can see that it will overlay the existing one, so it snaps to that location. But it doesn't say how much wood you need or supplies. It just says that um, you can do it. So I'm not sure if that's um, wrong information on the fandom page or whatnot, but I've been stocking up on wood. Um, we'll get as much wood as we can before we do that. And then we'll basically tear down this place. We'll have to redaub the whole thing, but it should give us double the amount of storage. We're getting close to the capacity of this one. We're at 600. I've been taking firewood and stuff out that we don't need at the moment, but... Um, you know, it'd just be good to have that extra buffer room. It'll be a little bit more with taxes, but that's that's completely fine. Um, as far as bulls, I haven't sold any bulls yet. Uh, all the, the two towns are basically sold out from all the stuff we can actually sell to them, so we'll have to wait until we do that. There's a few other things that I need to end up selling anyways. But um, outside of that, we got all the stuff processed, I think. Uh, the, the rise done... Uh, a few other things have been done as well. So outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.